quickly go over this um, just to make sure we got what we need to um, because everything on your your test tomorrow is all adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. It's um, everything we've done. So let's um, real quick look at this. All right, hang on just a second. I gotta get my pen. It's my problem addition. Yes. Guys, you're going to ask yourself that about every one you see, whether your adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. You're going to ask yourself, is my problem addition? Okay? You're going to ask yourself that. I'm going to shift this a minute because I'm going to write something on the whiteboard for you. Okay? Hope it'll pick it up. Is my problem addition every time? All right, so turn this over. You should be able to put this on the very, very back or on the back of your warm-up even is a good spot. Is my problem addition? If the answer is yes, you're going to use your arms. We use the same, remember, same arm. Use our arms. If a like, add, and keep the sign. Different arms. We subtract and take the sign of the one that is the farthest from zero. Remember doing that? Hmm? If the answer is no, we have to do a couple of different things. If the answer is no, and it's a subtraction problem, we're going to case the O. Okay? Then we use our arms. Okay? If the answer is no, and it's multiplication or division, If it's no multiplication or division, we're going to do the math and then here's your sign and we use Dorito Man, okay? So regardless, so if it's no, and it's subtraction, we KCO it. Then we use our arms. If it's no and it's multiplication or division, we do the math. Then we, here's your sign, using Dorito Man. Okay? So with every problem you see, you can actually say, is my problem addition? Every problem works. Forever. For now. I mean... No matter what it is. Okay. What if it's like a decimal number? Doesn't matter. Is my problem addition? Then you're, I mean, you're still going to use the debt. What group, you know, we got to line up the decimals and do all that. All right. So I'm going to turn this back around. All right. Y'all need just a second to copy that? But everything can be started with is that is my problem addition and then move forward from there, okay? Everything can go is my problem and then we move forward from there. All 
All right, if you're watching the video, go ahead and stop it, close your Chromebooks, because we're going to go over this together, and then you'll have the video from today, and then you'll also have the videos that I put in from last year to watch, to study tonight. But I want you to pay attention to me while we're doing it in class, okay? If you're not done copying that, stop where you are right now, and let's go ahead and go over this, and I'll give you a few more minutes in a minute. So just flip your warm-up back over, and you'll have a couple more minutes to um, to copy in just a minute. Okay? So flip your warm up back over. I need everybody paying attention to where we are. 8.5 plus. So is my problem addition? Yes. yes. So if it is addition, we have a positive 8.5. That's our right. This is right and left. Right? So if it's right and left, what are we going to do? If they're different, we're going to subtract. So I'm going to come right over here and line up my decimals and subtract 4.6 from 8.5. I'm just going to do my subtraction like I would normal. Do the math. That's going to be 9. And I get 3.9. And then I look at 8.5 and 4.6. Which one's the farthest from 0? 8.5. So my answer is going to be positive because the 8.5 is positive, okay? All right. Negative 10 minus 15 is my problem addition. Oh. No. And if the answer is no, and it's we got a KCO it. So we're going to keep the negative 10. C, change that to a D. This is my C. The positive 15 becomes a negative 15. Now I go to my arms. That's a left and a left. That's the same. Left, left. And if they're the same, what do we do? We add 10 plus 15 is 25. And we keep the sign. Okay? At 3 a.m., outside temperature was... Four, negative 4 degrees by 3 p.m. that same day, it rose 20 degrees. What was the temperature at 3 p.m.? So it was negative 4, and it rose 20 degrees, so that's going to be a positive 20, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a, all right, so now we stop. Is my problem addition? Mm -hmm. Yes. So if it's addition, I look at my arms, that would be my left and my right. Are they the same? No. no. And if they are different, what do we do? Subtract. We're just going to subtract 20 minus 4 and we get 16. And then we look at them and decide what is, which one's the farthest from zero. 20. 20. So that's going to be a positive 16. So positive 16 degrees was the temperature. All right, a plane is flying 3,000 feet above sea level. A shark is swimming 50 feet below sea level. What is the difference in meters between the plane and the shark? Circle difference. What does difference mean? Subtract. It means subtract. So the plane is 3,000 feet above, so that's going to be positive. We're going to, the difference and the shark is swimming 50 feet below, so that's negative. Now, is my problem addition? No. No. So I've got a KCO. 3,000 plus 50 is 3,000 50. All right, questions about any of those? These two word problems right here are very similar to the things like you're going to see on your test tomorrow, okay? The yeah. word problems are like that? The word problems. Okay. There's a lot of that. I'm going to give you this little cheat sheet before you leave today. All that is, 
It is um, everything. It's integers, your integer rules, your adding, subtracting, multiplying, divide, integer rules, some hints with fractions, decimals. So I'm going to give this to you. We're going to glue it in um, and have it in our OGs to use, okay? Can we continue down with this? No, because it's not an open notes test. So you would not be able to use it because all of the other seventh grade students will not be using it. Okay. All right, so we are still live. So, yes, tomorrow is a unit test, and so you will be using nothing but your unit brain in order to do the test tomorrow. Okay? Now, say the integer that best describes each. A 50 yard gain. All right, what do you think that is? Positive. Why is it positive? Gain, that's the key there. We've got to identify the vocabulary. So gain tells me that that is a positive five. A withdrawal of $40. Why is it negative? Withdrawal tells me that's a negative 40. Very good. The stock rose, Blair? Because it's a rose. All right, so it's what? Positive. Blair says it's positive because of rose. 60 seconds before blast off, and just mark that five out. That's a typo right there. Before blast off. Reese? Negative 20. Really? Why? Because before means like, like it's going before. It is a negative 20. Okay? 20 seconds before is negative. Very good. A profit of twenty dollars. Positive one. Because profit. profit. A profit of twenty-two dollars. Twenty. Profit means positive. All right. What do you think, Blair? Why? Below. Negative. So negative nine. One hundred twenty-five feet below sea level. Negative one twenty-five. Let's just get through these. And a bank deposit of $35. Positive. Positive. Positive 35. You need to be paying attention, watching what I'm writing, listening with your eyes. Positive 35. Y'all don't daydream. Don't daydream. Okay. Everybody got that? Mm -hmm. No issues? Define absolute value. Distance from zero. Distance from zero. Distance from zero. Okay, anybody have a question about those? All right, evaluate the absolute value of negative seven. All right, look at this guys. Remember, these two little bars right here are asking you for absolute value. That's how you know you're getting absolute value, okay? Think about them, another way to think about them is think about them as being like railroad tracks. Railroad tracks go on forever and ever and ever. Distance, right? They go long distances. Railroad trains go long, they're designed for long distance travel, right? So those two little lines are like railroad tracks. They want to know the distance, okay? When you see those, that's what it's asking you for is distance. So what is the absolute value of negative seven? What that's asking for is how far is negative seven from zero? Seven places. How far is 15 from zero? 15. How far is zero from zero? Zero. How far is all right, so now look at this one. This is a two-stepper. This is a two-stepper. We first do the absolute value of five. What is the absolute value of five? Five. five. 
And because that negative sign is sitting on the outside, it wants the opposite, so we get the opposite of five, which is negative five. Okay? Shove. All right, here is something I need you to circle, highlight, and get, make sure you know, because there are questions on the test about this. Additive inverse. It means opposite, but these notes, but also another word that we've used a lot in its place that you probably recognize is zero pair. So, five and its additive inverse. What is, so I want five, what is the additive inverse of five? Negative five. Negative five. So, positive five and then negative five, this is positive five and negative five, and it takes us back to what? Zero. Zero. Um, I want so you to write this on your paper. Isn't like, um, is the additive inverse is the numbers opposite but their sum is zero and that is that you have to know that the sum of a number of an integer look at number five and its additive inverse will always be zero. And this, this is huge. This is on that test. You're going to see some. The sum of any number and its additive inverse. The sum of any number and its additive inverse is zero. Is zero. Okay? It is zero. What is the sum of negative seven and its additive inverse? The sum of any number and it, say it, Reese. What is the sum, what is the sum of negative 10 and its additive inverse? What is the sum of 8 million and its additive inverse? What is the sum of 45,862 and its additive inverse? Period. The sum, what is the sum of negative seven and its additive inverse. Okay? Everybody with me? If I put eight dollars, well, if I have negative six dollars in my bank account, and I put six dollars in my bank account, how much money is in my bank? Zero. Zero. Because it was in the negative to start with, right? Mm -hmm. If I have negative $25 in my bank account, and I put $25 in my bank account, how much money is in my bank account? Zero. Does that make sense? No. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. If... Okay. Let me get me a all right there are um there are several I mean you've got the video on Google Classroom um but 
I know you can't. I'm going to go. I'm going to show you in a minute. Scuba diver is at four feet. He dives down seven more feet to a coral reef. What is his integer? What is the integer expression? I'm just going to go through these with y'all, okay? So just have your pencil ready and be ready to write. All right, so he's at negative four. Ah, sorry guys. I'm trying to make it as big as I can so that it's easy to see on the video. He's at negative four. He and, and. He dives down seven more feet, so what is that? Negative seven. Now it wants you to work it. So, is my problem addition? Yes. Yes, my problem is addition. That is a left and a left, which means I'm using the same arm. And if it's the same, same means? Some. Same means sum. Same means add. So I'm going to add 4 plus 7 is 11 and keep the sign, which is negative. We're just gonna mark off number seven. Cause y'all got y'all know how to do those models. If you did it, that's fine. I think that it's in the video. So y'all can um y'all can get those off the video if you want to. We're gonna just move on past those, okay? Number eight, what addition statement does each one of these model? Well, number A, letter A, is not addition. How do we know that's not addition? Thank you, it's multiplication. So let's write the multiplications. We can write an addition problem, but let's write the multiplication first. How do you know it's multiplication? Because the, the lines are side by side. All right, we're going to pretend this goes on out here to 10. We're going to make it two groups of five. Okay, we're going to make this two groups of five. We have two groups. This is from here to here. made this from here to here five. So what we have is two groups of five, right? You can put a dot. And two groups of five is the same thing as five plus five, there's our addition, which equals 10. But if the lines are side by side, it's not addition. It's multiplication, okay? But you can get to addition from multiplication, can't you? Mm -hmm. So we we went to we got to our addition from our multiplication. All right. So looking at the next one, we went from zero to negative four. So label the bottom line negative four. Then we went from negative four back to zero. So label it positive four because we went left then right. So we've got negative four plus a positive four equals zero. What are those called? Additive inverse. Additive inverse. That's the zero pair. And we can label that additive inverse. Everybody sit up. Additive inverse. That is a zero pair. Okay, on um, C, we went from zero to positive eight, so label that bottom line eight. And then we went from eight backwards nine. We went left nine, right? And we ended up at negative one. So our problem, our addition problem here, it's going to be 8 plus 
a negative 9 equals negative 1. Remember, the bottom line is your first term, the top line is your second term, and where the second line, where your top line ends, where your top line ends is your answer. So you're looking at the top line. The bottom line is the first term, the second line is the, the top line is your second term. Okay? Let's write that on our paper. The bottom line is the first term. The top line is the second term. And the, where the top line stops is the answer or solution. You're not quite through copying that. Um, you may have to get it from the video tonight. We need to go. I got. Let's get to these. You really need to look, pay attention to these. Not only, um, and I'm gonna just give you some um, examples <coughs> in just a minute. All right. So letter A. None of these are addition. But let's look. Is my problem addition? No. No, and if it's not addition, we've got to K, C, O. So that's going to be keep the five, negative five, change this to addition, the negative one becomes a positive one. Okay? Now we can model it. Well, the solution here, this is a left and a right. They are different. If they are different, what do we do? Subtract. Yeah. We subtract and get four. And which one's farthest from zero? Five. So it's a negative four. To model that, we would have negative one, two, three, four, five, positive one. Mark out your zero pair, and you're left with negative four. What can you subtract? You can subtract negatives, but you you are subtracting negatives. And but everything filters through addition. Because what you're doing is you're combining terms. You're putting terms together. Okay? You're putting terms together. And everything filters through addition. You're combining terms. I'm taking this term and this term and I'm gonna put them together. And whether there's a minus sign in the middle or not, you're still putting them together. And you've heard me talk about, I mean, you've heard me say that um, a negative means the opposite of, right? So sometimes when that's, that minus sign is in the middle, it's asking you to put them together and take the opposite of it. And so instead of us having to go through all of that, we filter everything through addition. 
if we filter everything through addition. And eventually, it's going to go away to a certain degree, and you're going to be able to start seeing things in a little, there is a shortcut, but I'm not teaching you the shortcut yet. Okay? As we do more of this, you'll start to see that shortcut and start to, to make it work. Okay? Especially when we start combining like terms in the next unit. Okay? So, 4 minus negative 2 is my problem addition. No, no. No, so we're going to keep the 4, change this to addition, and make this the opposite. So we have 4 plus 2 is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2. We have no zero pairs. So our answer is positive 6. Letter C is my problem addition. No. And if the answer is no and there's a minus sign right there, we're going to do what? KCO it. K, keep the negative 7. C, change that to addition. O, make that a positive 4, a negative 4. Make that a negative 4. Now that is left and left. And if they are the same, what do we do? Add. We add, and here's your sign. Negative keep one. the negative. We add and keep. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. We have no zero pairs. So there's our answer. for just a second and then I'll just merge them but I need to or I'll. all right we did the first um, part of the study guide this morning in first period and we're going to come back we're starting at the bottom and we're going to work our way up and then hopefully we'll get the rest of it done now and then we will be able to I'll merge the two videos for you and you'll have all my videos of this study guide from last year and this year's video that you can go back and go over and watch because I may have said something different a little different last year that might click with some of you okay because I know I don't say the same thing all the time now a 4 plus 31 now we're going negative 4 plus 31 we're going from our flow map on your paper right now put your finger on the question that says it's my problem addition it is the problem addition Yes. yes, it is addition. There is a plus sign there. So, we're going straight over and we're looking at, show me with your arms, negative 4 is left, right? That's a left. And 31 is a right, which means they are different. And if they are different, we're going to come right over here and subtract them. 31 minus 4. And we get 27. And we take the sign of the one that's the farthest from zero. And which is the farthest from zero? 27 or the negative 4? Negative 4. Negative 4 is farther than 31 from oh, zero. Yeah. 31 is the farthest from zero. 31 is the farthest from zero. It's positive, so the 27 will be positive. Okay? Listen to the words now. Listen to how I'm saying all this. Number, letter B, is the problem addition? Yes. yes. If it is addition, we go straight across and we use our arms and we have negative 17 is left. Negative 25 is left. We use the same arm. So if we use the same arm, what do we do? We're going to add them. 
So we're going to come right over here to the side and we're going to do 25 plus 17. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry 1, 2, 42. So I'm going to come over here, put my 42, and then I've got to decide what is my sign going to be. Well, if we get the sum, same signs, sum, same. Same signs, sum, keep. Same, same, keep. We keep the same sign. So we're just going to make that a negative 42. Any questions? 51 plus the 34, negative 34 is my problem addition. Yes, it's addition. So now we go straight to our arms. 51 is positive, so that's right. 34 is negative, so that's left. A, pot, a left and a right means they are different. If they are different, what do we do? We subtract. So I'm going to come right out here somewhere on the side, and I'm going to do 51 minus 34, just like I learned how to do in the third grade. And I'm going to get 17. And I come over here and put my 17. Now I've got to determine my sign. Here's your sign. Which one of those is the farthest from zero? 51. The 51. The 51 is positive, so I'm going to use the 51 positive, the positive seven, to make that a positive 17. Okay? 35, negative 35 plus the negative 24 is my problem addition. Yes. yes, it's addition. So what do I do? I go straight to my arms, and that's a left arm and a left arm. If we use the same arm, what do we do? Add. We add them. Same, same, keep. So we're going to do 35 plus 24, same sum. 5 plus 4 is 9, that's 59. And we keep the negative, same sum, keep. Same sum, keep. Okay? 19 plus 44 is my problem addition. Yes, it's addition. So I go straight to my arms and I say that's right and right. A right arm and a right arm means I'm going that we've got same, so it's same. 19 plus 44. Don't find me a blank spot Thirteen, sixty-three. Same sum, keep. So I keep the net, the positive that's already there, right? Negative sixty plus twenty-five is my problem addition. Yes. yes, it is, and so I can go straight to my arms, and that's a left arm and a right arm. And if I use different arms, what do I do? <coughs> what? Subtract. <coughs> So I'm going to come right over here and do 60 minus 25. And that's, five, that's 35. So this is 35. And I've got to take the sign of the one that's the farthest from zero, which is the, the 60, which is negative. So I go with the negative for my answer. That negative 60 is the farthest from zero, so that negative sign comes over here and becomes part of that 35, okay? Any questions so far? All right, letter G, is my problem addition? No, this is not addition. So if the answer is no and there's a subtraction sign right there, what do I do? I got a KCO this one which means I'm going to K, keep the 19, C, change that to an addition, O, make the 32 a negative 32. Okay? A negative 32. Now I look at this and I use my arms. That is a positive 19, which would be right, a negative 32, which would be left. They are different. 
So what am I going to do? I'm going to subtract and I get 32 minus 19. Thirteen. And which one's the farthest from zero? The thirty-two. So it's going to be a negative thirteen. Questions? Look at number eight. Letter H. Is the problem addition? No. No. And if it's not addition and there's a subtraction symbol there, what do I do? I got a KCO it. I'm going to K, keep the 25. C, change that to addition. O, make that 7 a negative 7. After I've KCO'd it, I've got a, then I move to my little arm trick. That's a right and a left. And if they are different, what do I do? I'm going to subtract, so I'm going to take 25 minus 7, I'm just going to come right up here, 25 minus 7, is 18, and which one's the farthest from zero? So it's positive, so my answer is positive. Questions? All right. Look at number, letter I. Is my problem addition? No. No. And if the answer is no, KCO. I'm going to KCO it. So I keep the negative 18. Change that to addition. And the negative 19 becomes a positive 19. Then I go to my arms. That's a left and a right. So, if I'm using different arms, what do I do? Subtract. And I have 19 minus 18, which is 1. And that, which one's the farthest from zero? The 19, so it is a positive one. Any questions? No, ma'am. Okay. J, is my problem addition? No. No, and because there's a subtraction sign right there, I know I've got a KCO it. So I'm going to keep the 43, change that to addition. O, make that the opposite of negative 15, which is a positive 15. And my answer is 58. Because I have a positive and a positive, that's a right and a right. And when they are the same arm, same, same, some, keep. Same, some, keep. Okay? Same, so we keep the sign. Any questions? Anybody? 28 minus 41 is my problem addition. Huh? No. No, and if it's not addition, I'm going to K. 28. C, change that to addition. O, make that a negative 41. Then I go to my arms. That is right, right and left. If they are different, what do we do? Subtract. Subtract. So I'm going to take 41 minus 28. I get 13. And which one's the farthest from zero? 41. So 41, so my answer is going to be negative 13. I'm going to erase some of this. Negative 13, okay?
Negative 32 minus 15 is my problem addition. Yeah. We'll be going to lunch in just a few minutes. So, if there's subtraction there, y'all know we can't go to the bathroom in the third or fourth period. What are you digging in your book bag for? The problem is subtraction. So, we're going to keep K, negative 32. C, change that to addition. O, So what do I get? I've got a left and a left. Are they the same or different? Same. They're the same. No. So I'm going to same. I'm going to take the sum, which will be 47. Keep the sign, which will be a negative 47. <coughs> Question. Negative 11 minus negative 42 is my problem addition. Oh. No. So what have I got to do? I got to KCO it. So I've got to, I'm going to keep the negative 11. C, change that to addition. O, make that a positive 42 which gives me a left and a right on my, with my arms. And if I use different arms, what have I got to do? I got to subtract. So I'm going to come down here and do 42 minus 11, which is 31. And take the side of the one that's the farthest from zero. Which one's the farthest from zero? The 42 is the farthest from zero. So my if 42 is positive, my answer will be positive. Okay? Question. Negative 53 minus 24 is my problem addition. No. 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 So what am I going to do? KCO. I'm going to have to KCO it. Negative 53. I keep the negative 53. Change this to addition and make this a negative 24. When I look at those, I see a left and a left. And if they are the same, what do I do? Same, sum, key, right? So, that is going to be a negative 77. Questions? All right, now, moving right along. <coughs> Did that help anybody? Huh? Now here's where, now, looking at number, letter O. Is my problem addition? No. no. So is it subtraction? No. no. If, look guys, this is where you're going to make your mistakes. Look right here. Do you see how right here? There is no sign between the parentheses and the number beside it. If you look back at num letter J, or not even letter J, yes, letter J is a good one. There is a minus sign between the 43 and that left parentheses. Do you see that? Look at letter J. Point the letter J, point the letter O. Point the letter J, point the letter O. Do you see how on letter J there is a minus sign between the 43 and the negative 15? Point to letter C. Do you see how there is a plus sign between the 51 and the negative and that parentheses, that 34? Look at letter O. There is no plus or minus there. Is there? You see the difference? That is how you know it's multiplication. The number is snuggled right up beside the parentheses. The number is snuggled right up beside the parentheses. That's how you know it's multiplication. Okay? 
So when you look at this problem and you say, is my problem addition? No. But it's not subtraction either. It is multiplication. So we know if it's multiplication, we're going to be using Dorito Man. Okay? If it's multiplication, we're using Dorito Man. And we're going to just do two things. We're going to multiply 5 times 12 and get 60. Then we're going to cover up one negative on our Dorito Man for the negative 5. Cover up another negative on Dorito Man for the negative 12. And what's not covered up? The plus. The plus. Meaning that the answer is a positive 60. Mom, did you, did you, does that make sense? I don't know if you were here when I did all of that. Because you, I mean, you, you, but and that's where, guys, if you're out, you need to keep a check on Google Classroom. I can't guarantee that every single day there'll be something up there, but there is all, there's enough that you can keep caught up. I try to put it up every day, but some days it gets bogged down and, I get slowed down, but <clears throat> it'll be there the next day. So even if you come back to school the next day, watch, and I get it finally uploaded, go back and watch it, okay? Go back and watch it because there may be something you've missed, all right? Now, negative, all right, first, looking at P, is my problem addition? No, is it subtraction? Is it multiplication? No. No, it's division. Well, guess what? With division, we're going to do the same thing we do with multiplication. We're going to do the math. 565 divided by 5 is going to be 13. And then I'm going to use Dorito Man. And I've got a negative. I'm going to mark out a negative for the 65. I'm going to mark out a positive. For the five, and what's left? A negative. A negative, so my answer's going to be negative. And basically, guys, with multiplication and division, when you're trying to find the signs, when you're trying to find the signs with multiplication and division, if they're the same, it's positive. If they're different, it's negative. When they're the same, it's positive, and when they're different, it's negative. Okay. All right. Um, I might stop this for just a second, and I will. I'll so let's get that. letter Q. Letter Q. Is it addition? No. So what is it? Division. It's division. And when I see multiplication or division, what I want you to do when you see multiplication or division, just go and come out right beside it. Draw you a little Dorito man. Just draw you a little Dorito man. Because all you're going to do is do the math and then do Dorito man. What's 24 divided by 8? 3. Now I'm going to come over here to my Dorito man, and I've got a positive 24, so I'm going to mark out that positive. And I've got a negative 8, and I'm going to mark out that negative. What's left? Negative. A negative 3. Okay? Now, letter R, is that multiplication or division? Division. It's division. I'm going to draw Dorito man real quick. Draw me a Dorito man. Now I'm going to do the math. 90. Divided by 5. 18. 18. Now I'm going to come over here to Dorito Man. It's a negative 90. I'm going to mark out a negative for the 90. It's a negative 5. I'm going to mark out a negative for the 5. What's left? Positive. A positive. So I've got a positive 18. Jump down to T. Let's do it. What operation is T? 
That is multiplication because there's nothing. Because my 15 snuggled right up beside the parentheses. The parentheses and the number are snuggling with each other, and that is multiplication. Now, we're going to come right out here and draw us a quick little Dorito man. And 15 divided, uh, 15 times 4 is what? 60. 60. It's 60. And then I'm going to take my positive right here and my negative for the 4 and mark them out. And what's left? Negative. That negative, very good. So it's negative 60. Okay? I think one of the biggest issues with you is making sure you can go from one type of operation to another one. Okay? Now, some of this we have not... Now, I'm going to be merging these videos from today. And then anything that's not on the videos from today or on the videos that I'm putting in, that I've already put in there from last year. You literally could complete this study guide right now with the videos that are already in Google Classroom. I've already uploaded them. They're there. Okay? They're there. I wasn't going to let it get where... But these may be a little later getting there. I'm going to start them processing in just a few minutes. But... These will go, today's videos will go in, but there are a few problems right in the middle that we didn't get to. So you are going to need to watch the videos from last year to get the, the kind of the middle of it. I'm also posting a key with all the answers to the study guide on Google Classroom. Listen to me and listen to me good. Your study guide will be taken up from you tomorrow before the quiz, I mean before the test for a daily grade. All you got to do is copy my key. My key will be on Google Classroom. You need to copy it. If you do not have access to Google Classroom at home, see me one-on-one. -on -one. You will. I will be giving you a copy of it to take home and use at home. Okay? I got you. All right? Any questions?